Hello, everybody. Today I'm doing a new episode of Revisiting. Revisiting is where I go back at a movie that maybe I really did enjoy it the first time, but I go back and view it and see if I, maybe, if I still enjoy it as much as the first time I enjoyed it. Or maybe it's a movie that I didn't really enjoy, but I've read stuff up about it and found out new stuff about it, and I want to go back and look back at the movie and see if there's those things that people have talked about and if the movie is better than I first thought it was. So, today's Revisiting is Cloverfield from 2008, directed by... Matt Reeves and written by Drew Goddard and heavily produced by J.J. Abrams because there's a lot of um, J.J. Abrams things in here like Lost references and um, Alias references as well and Drew Goddard he did write Lost so there is some other yeah, Lost references from him, him in here and he also said that maybe Cloverfield does have connections to Lost. So this will be spoilers in here today so if you haven't seen Cloverfield then go and watch it and then maybe come back and watch this video. So Cloverfield is from 2008 and Cloverfield is a movie that I really enjoyed when it first came out. I saw it twice in the cinema and I remember when going to the cinema it had all these signs in the door saying that this movie may cause motion sickness. And I remember seeing it at the front the first time I saw it and it was it was horrible to see it at the front because that was too much for me but then I remember seeing it further back the second time seeing it. So it's a movie that I have watched multiple times and I really enjoyed it. But after studying at university for a few years I look at a lot of movies now and... I pick at them, I pick inside them too much and get into them too much and pick at all the tiny little things about it. Now Cloverfield is a movie that I still really enjoy. The first time I saw it I loved it for what it did. It was it was when Clover, Cloverfield was one of the found footage movies that was sort of setting off found footage. Found footage movies have been happening but it's one that set it off more with its wide cinema releases and just because it was, it was a movie, a monster found footage movie that I really enjoyed and I loved it for its creature designs and all the little things that it did and working as a found footage movie. Now looking back at Cloverfield after all these multiple viewings and looking back at it after I've been studying at university and about with film, Cloverfield, I can't look at it the same way anymore because Cloverfield is a movie that is still great with all those little Easter eggs. We've shown the King Kong frame at one point and the Beast of 20,000 Fathoms and the Ant from them, there's all these little things inside there, you just probably saw them on the screen, but Cloverfield has this really horrible side angle cinematography throughout. The cinematography is done by Michael Bond villain, um, so it sounds like Bond villain, so he went, he did the cinematography on Zombieland as well, and with the cinematography of Cloverfield, I know we're meant to feel that it's a found footage movie and that the brother who is filming is meant to be an amateur, it's the first time using a camera, but the thing is, if someone's picking up a camera, the thing they can always do is everyone knows how to hold a camera straight. And throughout the whole movie, we're having these side angled shots, and it looks like lazy. It's meant to try and look, make shots look interesting, but throughout the whole movie, it's so much of it that after a while, it just begins to just feel really bad and just to look at, and it doesn't feel interesting anymore because. The first time you see the brother and they run outside in the city, it's all sideways and you see all the people, everything, all the mayhem that's happening in the city. And it just, it, it doesn't work for me completely. The movie also has these moments that are too convenient. Now, I understand with tape cameras that, I had a tape camera when I was younger. I remember filming over tape and when I was editing with the tape, I'd see that an old video that was on there would appear halfway through editing. And with Cloverfield it has that it's being filmed over an old tape of them having their fun time going to Coney Island, the, uh, to the two characters in the movie. But there's one scene where the brother's like, oh, oh no, the, the friend's like, oh, what camera was in there? He's like, oh, there's a camera that was, there was what, what tape was in the camera? He's like, oh, there's already a tape that was already in here. And he's like, oh, well, can we, just tell me what tape. And then he's like, oh, I don't know. And then when they're talking about it, he was like, I had a tape in there that had footage on. Why are they talking in this conversation? The clip appears again of them going to Coney Island. And that part is just too convenient for it to appear when they're talking about the tape, so it feels just very annoying that just conveniently appears. Cloverfield is a movie that I I do enjoy for its monster things. I enjoy it for all its little Easter eggs, like there's with the slusho thing, which was first in Alias, and then it appeared throughout a lot of J.J. Abrams stuff. There's the Dahama logo. It's interesting with the things it does. It's interesting that I, I understood with all that. The interesting thing that I love about it is it's meant to be two monsters, and the first monster you see, it looks completely different than the monsters you see at the end, so you don't have to decide for yourself is there, if there is two monsters or not, and that's the thing that I've always found very interesting about it. But with this whole side-angled thing, <laughs> it begins to bother me. This is a movie 
that was a solid 10 out of 10 for me when I first watched it. And now it's gone down to a 7 out of 10 just, just because it's a great movie to me. But the cinematography lets it down just with these with these side angles and it, it's just horrible. And th there's things that aren't completely explained. When their friend is attacked by all these spider monster things at one point, she gets all the scratches on her back, they take her to this place, she throws up blood and they're like, oh my god, oh my god, she's dead. And they, they, just, they go out, the army people take them out of the building where their friend has just thrown up blood and is obviously dead. And they never talk about her again. Just like, oh, did you see that? Her eyes are bleeding and stuff. And they, they just, but then, there's a movie they never talk about her again. It's, it's just it's just weird. And there's there's thing, many things that still aren't answered about Cloverfield. Now, I do love the ending where they're like, oh, I had a nice day, and the camera turns to the back, and if you look at the water, you see a thing coming down, you have to look very closely, a thing's going into the water, and that's what meant to be where the monster came from, and why it attacks an oil rig at one point. And Cloverfield, there was meant to be a Cloverfield too, there's still an untitled Cloverfield sequel out there because it was meant to be there's another man on the bridge at one point that the camera turns to and you see him and I would have liked a sequel with that but if they're going to do a sequel, I feel I feel it's been left too long now but if they're going to do it, it needs to be something more interesting like something crazy is happening with the monster now and there's more things out in the city. So Cloverfield, I know this revisiting is not really properly going into it, but it's it's where I, I did want to talk about it. And as you can see, I've tried more with editing and stuff today and showing more footage of the things. But with these side angle shots throughout the whole movie, it lets it down for me. It tries to be too interesting with these side angle shots. It it looks like not really stylized, but it's it's done in a very purpose way throughout. And to me, it's it's lazy cinematography with the side angle because. I just can't look at this movie again, like, I I used to be able to watch it multiple times, but now I'll be looking at it and be like, mm, that side angle thing's annoying me quite a bit, and there's one scene that still bothers me, that a woman has a pole stabbed right through her shoulder, and they pull her out of it, and she doesn't bleed out or anything, and she's walking about fine for a lot more of the movie, like, she's holding on to it, but she seems fine for many, many other parts of the movie. So Cloverfield is still a great movie in my opinion, but the side angle thing, like I said, lets it down quite a bit. It's still a great monster movie, it's still a great found footage movie, and it's still very enjoyable to watch, and I do love all the little easter eggs that it does, and that it does homage to old monster movies. But it's not as great a monster movie as I once remember it being. That's my revisiting video. If you've seen Cloverfield, or if you like Cloverfield, of course, many people have so interested in Cloverfield. Let's talk about it in the comments down below. And if you have these same opinions as me or completely different opinions, let's actually have conversation because there's a lot of subscribers on my channel and we don't really have much conversation. And I feel like this is a movie that we could have a lot of conversation about because of all the tiny little things that it does. So let's start the conversation down there. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.